Wish me luck, team. Five minutes from home. 99.9999% sure this is the right path for. I know it is. We're all up to sunny Spain. France. <laughs> Me. <laughs> so there used to be a time when bag drop was quicker than check in. Um. Goggles, check. Push me luck, team. <laughs> First time snowboarding in four years. That's what I'm talking about. And I haven't fallen over yet, although I've only done one run, so <laughs> there's time. Yep. There's time, but gorgeous, fellow, but only gorgeous day. Four. Look at it. Mont Blanc in the background. Look at that. Our first red of the day. Wish us luck. <laughs> it's not hitting competence as a snowboarder. the first photograph of the day. I'm using my little pixie tripod on this trip to keep my backpack light, so I'm having to improvise a bit. I found this lovely V formation of mountains and using the center focus point, I'll go and place myself in the middle of the scene. A nice middle of the road F-stop 11 to keep all that lovely detail in the distance. I would prefer there was untouched pristine snow, but it hasn't snowed here for a week, so I'll take what I'm given. Yeah. Ooh, I almost lost my board as well.
This cable car is just dangling over the valley below. I'm trusting the autofocus system to grab focus on the car. Should make for a nice shot. Flashing red. Is this video or is this? Video. Oh, do you want me to shut up? Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> Another nice composition here. I'm cheating a little bit by tilting the camera for a more severe angle. Focusing about three meters into the scene where I'll be whizzing by shortly. So this is our second day snowboarding in Chamonix. We're a bit further down the mountain um, in a place called Le Huches, uh, if that's how you pronounce it. And it is the most stunning day and this backdrop. We've just uh, snowboarded for about two hours. Our legs are knackered, so we're gonna get some lunch and then uh, do some more photography. A few self portraits this afternoon, you know me. <laughs> Ah, pretty amazing views while having your lunch. Just firing off a few images here. Some clouds just clipping the top of Mont Blanc. I think this might be one of my favorite places. <laughs> Found a gorgeous picture here of this framing. Let's no board. Moody. That is so beautiful over there. Monolith just poking out the top. Where are we now? What's this place called? Grand Monets. Grand Montets. Montets. Grand Montets. 2750 meters above sea level. So getting your exposure correct for scenes heavily featuring snow can be tricky because if you use one of the auto exposure settings like aperture priority, um, you'll most likely end up with underexposed images and gray snow. Why is this? Because the camera's metering system is trying to find an exposure based on 18% gray. So if a scene has equal amounts of blacks and whites, then the camera finds somewhere in the middle and that's normally a good exposure. But a scene with lots of whites, the camera thinks that it's overexposed and compensates down by somewhere between a stop and two stops, which is why you end up with grey snow. A simple solution to this is to exposure compensate up by the same amount until you see the histogram just touching the edges of the white. So let me show you what I mean. If we were to go with what the camera thinks is the correct exposure with the marker on center, notice the histogram's white point is way over towards the middle, resulting in dull grey snow. Now let's exposure compensate up by a stop and a third. The white point on the histogram is much closer to the right where white should be white, resulting in a perfect exposure. Not the greatest photo, I'll admit, but a good example for this topic. No more after this one. I'm not 
sure I'm going to add my finger on them. Uh, there's a shot there, but I think what I need to do is wait. Oh God, the sun's coming out there. Wait until I'm a bit closer before I press the button. All right, photo take three. Was this four? No, this is three. So I like to think that as you do more photography, the less mistakes you should make. But for some reason, that last self-portrait was, I just made every mistake in the book. Um, my shutter speed was wrong because I was doing fast action snowboarding. Um, I had to increase that to 2,500th of a second because I was blurry. And then I was setting my autofocus to manual focus and I must have knocked the lens and that set was completely blurry. And then I was shooting to two cards, not one, and I didn't realize that. And one of the other cards was just wasn't fast enough, so it was buffering. But anyway, it's been a fantastic uh, snowboarding trip. This is my last day in Chamonix. It's been stunning. And this is my last red run. My best mate's waiting for me down the bottom there. I better go and catch him up. Woohoo!